Hi everyone. Thank you so much for attending this live. I'm just gonna wait for a few more followers to attend. Awesome, I see a lot of people are joining right now. So welcome to everyone. Um, this is yet another Insta Live, but this time we're gonna do Ask the Colleges. And if you don't know me, I'm Shivika Shivakumar, the UCSC student body president, and my pronouns are she, her, hers. Uh, I'm a third year computer science and politics double major here at UCSC. And I'm here just to let you all know that, yes, even though we're all virtual and we're all in different homes right now, we're still one community, we're all banana slugs, and we are here to support one another. And just like our college systems, um, there's a lot of events that are, we are putting out. Um, different colleges have different virtual events, activities, so that we can build community. And this Insta Live is just for us to understand and know what events are being put out in this virtual world and get to um, know different people in different colleges and make sure that you all have accurate information. Um, before we start, I just wanna go over some um, structure. So we are gonna have four different colleges. So Oaks, Merrill, RCC, and C9. We're gonna have representative students from each of these colleges telling us about the college itself, um, different events they have, and how you can join those events. And this event is not just for prospective or new students who don't really have any idea how UCSC um, college functions, but it's also for continuing students who are missing campus, who have been to these events and know how it works, but still want to be part of our community. So um, without further ado, we can get started and we're going to get started with Oaks actually. So I let me see if Diana is here. I see a lot of hello. Hi, everybody. This is my second time doing Insta Live. So this is really cool to see everyone super happy. I hope you all have a Great start to your fall quarter. Let me see if Oaks has joined us. I see a question which says, what does a day for a CS major look like? Um, until Oaks joins us, let me tell you a little bit about that. So I'm actually a computer science and politics double major. So um, I get a little bit of like CS and technology, but I also get a lot of like uh, politics in my schedule day to day. Um, it's really fun. Um, the professors are amazing in this online world, like CS, for example, like nothing has changed because we had a lot of classes online anyway so i feel like it's similar um in terms of politics i miss my discussions i miss all those debates um but overall i think we're doing really well um i'm really like glad zoom is working out i hope it's working for you all as well um panda yes <laughs> yes okay um i don't see the person from oaks i think we're having technical difficulties um, is Meryl here? We're gonna wait. Do y'all have any questions for me? Oh, Oaks is there. Oaks, could you request to be part of this live so I can let you in? Um, perfect. I see. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? Uh, I'm doing good. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Uh, I just asked you how are you. <laughs> it's been a long first week. Um, how are you doing in terms of like how is your preparation, all your events? Like, could you tell us a bit about yourself, what your major is, which year you are, and you're in, and um, what all amazing events Oaks has for us? For sure. Um, sorry, this is my first time on Instagram Live, so I don't know if you can see me or not. Um, um, but um, I would prefer if you can turn your camera because I think both of us are in like different roles. Um, yes, it's not. That's oh, did perfect. that work? Yes. Okay. Um, so hello, everyone. My name is Diana Rodriguez. I'm an incoming second year. Or, oh, well, the school be year began, so I am a second year. Um, I'm affiliated with Oaks. I'm a history and Latin American studies double major. And yeah, um, 
I do miss Oaks. I'm actually at home right now, but I am missing Oaks. Um, you asked about programs, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. Right. Uh, okay. So I'm one of the community assistants, which is, I guess, equivalent to program assistants at other colleges, but at Oaks, we call it community assistants. And so far at Oaks, we did events for Welcome Week, which included game nights, and we did self-care, uh, which were really fun. And, you know, a lot of them, and a lot of the participants did enjoy them, which was great. Um, some, we're also, like, thinking of other events. We don't have anything scheduled yet, but we are, like, um, like having things in motion for planning. That's amazing. Um, I know Oaks, like, could you tell us a little bit about, like, Oaks theme? Um, I'm from C9, so I can speak for C9, but you would be the best person to tell us a little bit about Oaks culture, like, when you were a student there, um, how did you fit in, like, what's the vibe like? For sure. So um, our theme is communicating diversity for a just society. And um, personally, from my experience at Oaks, it does really feel like a community. That's one of like our intentions and goals as we come up with programs and as we interact with each other. Like even something as simple as like we have like a call. So we say Oaks. And yeah. I feel like that's something we do with the first years. And that's like even like a simple way of just building community and the vibe I always got from Oaks was that, like, it's a really great space, such chill people. You meet, like, amazing people, and, like, our core instructors are really nice, and everyone's kind of, like, willing to, uh, like, I guess, build community with each other, mm -hmm. which is really nice. Yes. Um, I know Oaks has something called owls, right? Um, do you know about the owls? Like, could you tell us a little bit about owls? Yeah, for sure. So the owls are the Oaks welcome leaders. And during welcome week, they help um, like the community assistants. And um, we together as a as a team, we plan the events that we put on during welcome week for the first years. So like I mentioned, we had uh, we had a Kahoot night, we had uh, manifesting your fall quarter, we had self care and those were the owls who helped us plan and facilitate those events. Got it, got it. I'm like looking through the comments just to see if anyone had questions. I think um, one question was, are any people living in Oaks right now? I don't know if you're the best person to ask, but do you know if people are living in Oaks campus? I'm not sure. What I kind of have heard, what I can say is that I've just heard that most folks are not living in Oaks right now. Um, they're actually living more towards maybe like C9 and 10. That's just what I've heard that it, those are the colleges that are being most populated right now mm -hmm. but i can't really say if i know anybody who's at oaks right now mm -hmm. got it got it um i think another question is can you explain ucsc's colleges for undeclared major um i think francisca asked that i can kind of tackle that question um there are 10 different colleges on campus um i really personally love that the 10 college structure um every college has its own theme um for college nine it's national and global perspectives for oaks it's um what was it again <laughs> communicating diversity for a just society Yes. So every college has its own theme and students get to choose their top three priorities and you get to like uh, pick your top choice college and most students get that. And that's how it's divided. So there's like five different dining halls. So two sister colleges like share it. Do you want to talk about the sister colleges? Um, yeah, uh, so our... our uh, I'm sorry, you cut off. I don't, oh, I don't know. What to Oaks say. has a sister college, right? Do you want to... Oh, yeah, 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 for sure. Sorry. Um, so our sister college is RCC, Rachel Carson College. And we partner a lot with them with events. And um, we do a lot of collaboration. So for Welcome Week, we did our training together with the other um, PAs at Rachel C Carson. And I, yeah, I guess that's like kind of like our relationship with them. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um I do have a question regarding, um, so because everything is virtual, um, how are y'all conducting like virtual events? Is it all through Zoom or are there some like events through like Instagram, social media, websites? Yeah, for sure. So um, last quarter when um, like the pandemic started, what we did was we did a lot, we held a lot of Instagram lives and try to connect with folks through there. So engaging folks with different events, we had, um, 
like the CAs from last year put on their own like events and through there that's how we try to engage with folks and like still try to build community and this year well what we did when we did welcome week we did mostly zoom but um we do want to try to implement um like our different platforms as well like venturing out and using our twitter and uh, facebook page but that's we stuck to instagram mostly last quarter got it got it um, another question I had for you and some of the audiences are also asking, like, how did you choose Oaks? Like, what made you choose Oaks? And, like, why do you think others should also, like, come to Oaks? For sure. So, um, I, <laughs> here's the thing. I chose Oaks because I went on a tour and I really liked the vibes of it. It's at the south part of campus and it's really nice and all the nature. And I really like the vibe, but I also looked on reddit and there's like a u uh like ucsc colleges stereotypes and i felt like i could identify more with oaks just because of the social justice theme and that is something i'm really interested and passionate about and i felt like that could be a place for me to um i don't know like be able to connect with um like a community and so far i haven't been disappointed i have a lot of friends at oaks um and i met a lot of friends at oaks too just based on the events and even in the dorms, like it was all like really a great experience for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I personally love visiting Oaks, even though like it's far from College Nine, relatively far, but um, the locality and like all the buildings are like ridden, uh, if I'm not wrong. It's like so beautiful yeah. and someone who loves nature, especially like Santa Cruz is like completely in the forest, but Oaks is like the place to go if you love nature. For sure. And there's like a great, there's a, um, there's some pretty great views of the ocean from Oaks as well. Oh, that really? I really love. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know Oaks has like tree houses like nearby. I don't know if you ventured out there. Like I love like taking those like random paths and I've gone to like some of the tree houses and swings. Yeah, I haven't actually seen the tree houses. I didn't know those existed. But when we go back to campus at some point, I'd really like to see that because I feel like um, I didn't really get a chance to see all of campus. But I did really love, I really love Oaks and I miss Oaks. Yeah, and uh, someone mentioned bridges. Like, Oaks does have bridges. They're beautiful. They're really nice. And there's, like, I've seen a lot of really cute pictures that folks take with the sunset because you can see, like, the sunset and there's, like, a bridge. And that's not describing it well, but <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's really, I just, for a thousand times, I love Oaks. And there's some pretty great views. So mm -hmm. if you like the vibes of having a community, um, and we're all really chill, then Oaks would be a great place. Got it. Um, is there anything else you wanted to tell us? I'm still like looking through questions, but anything you want to bring up about Oaks? Uh, for sure. So uh, we have Oak Senate, which is like our student governing body at Oaks. And we do virtual Zoom meetings Monday at 9 p.m. where we discuss Oaks, like life at Oaks College, college involvement, college funding, and more. So be sure to check out our Oaks Senate page on Instagram. There's a Zoom leak that's updated weekly. And yeah, so if you're interested in that, I, I just wanted to shout us out because I'm also involved with it. <laughs> I love my Senate. It's like as the student body president, like part of Student Union Assembly, we all, we love all our college senates and parliaments and um, colleges. So yes, if you're interested in student government, if you want to make a change, if you have anything you want to address, senates are the best place to start. And then Student Union Assembly is always here. So a little promo <laughs> for SUA. <laughs> Um, I had a question. Um, someone asked me where on campus is Oaks located. So it's at the south, uh, southernmost part of campus, almost the southernmost part. Um, it's right by um, Rachel Carson. So it's above Rachel Carson. I'm like trying to visualize the map of Oaks right now. And Porter is like to the left. Yeah, Porter's like kind of up to the left. So it's towards um, not. Bo it's before the base of campus, um, before the arboretum. Yes, <laughs> I think that's the best way to, I think um, the way I describe it is it's like opposite end to the um, Opers, like if you know Opers in the field and everything, Oaks is on the other side. So it's on best campus, right? Yeah, for sure. That's actually a better way to describe it. <laughs> I, I think you had it more detailed. Um, I do know we have to let in Merrill at 735. Like we have some like timing structures so that like I um, give enough time for every college but any like last things you want to tell us um I don't know I think that was kind of everything I had just um 
yeah, if, just, if you like the idea of Oak, then um, just check us out. And, like, just check out our Instagram page, actually, Oaks College, just straight up Oaks College. Um, and yeah, that's kind of all I have. And Oaks students um, who are, like, missing Oaks a lot and um, just, like, letting them know we are still here for them, all the Oaks community still, like, run together. For sure. We're still trying to build community even if we're not on campus. Mm-hmm. So join our events. Um, we'll be posting about them. Exactly. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I, I'm not even going to try it because I can't do it. Like, I've tried it before. So <laughs> if you want to end with the <laughs> oh, can't, like, go for it. But thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for having me. This was great. <laughs> Yeah, thank you. Um, I'm going to let in Meryl next, but it was great hearing more about folks. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay, um, I'm going to let Meryl in next. I'm like just looking at the questions as Meryl joins. I'm not sure if Meryl is here. Oh, Meryl is here. Awesome. Okay, here. Hi. Hello. How are Hi you there. doing? Good, how are you? I'm doing good. Um, I just finished my classes for today, so I'm kind of like relaxing. But Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you're here to tell us about Meryl, but before we talk about Meryl, can you like um, just introduce yourself, tell us about your major, your year, and pronouns? Yeah, for sure. Um, I'm Teresa Bostic, um, Meryl affiliate, and I'm a second year majoring in history. Um, I chose Merrill because I absolutely love the fact that we're the only college with a radio station, KZSC, shout out to them. Um, they also have an Instagram account if you want to keep up um, with, you know, how to volunteer for that station, especially since most of us are off campus. Um, there's also the Cantu Queer Center. They also have an Instagram if you want to check up on any opportunities with them. Um, they've been posting a lot of um, information and opportunities as well. Um, but I absolutely love Merrill. Um, I love the fact that right behind the Merrill dorms, we have the redwood trees and like mm-hmm. the trails that you can take. Um, there's also the Merrill Crown Apartments, which are absolutely beautiful and really nice and spacious. Um, We also have this like beautiful array of um, murals in our Merrill moat. Um, If you've ever visited Merrill, um, you could like walk right (laughs) next to the Merrill dorms and you can see like the beautiful murals and you can actually uh, like paint uh, a mural if you you request at Mm -hmm. the office, which is really nice. I love the fact that like we're known to be on the hill and away from everybody. <laughs> we're known for a cardiac hill, which um, you know it's. it's like, I was gonna mention that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's like a saying about calves, which is really funny. But I like I, I'm totally blanking out. Um, but yeah, we're both Crown is our Crown is our sister college, so both mm-hmm. uh, Crown and Merrill. Um, are up on the hill and we're on the most northern um, part of campus so (laughs) Oaks is the most south and we're you know like um, directly opposite of that um, which is interesting Um, and it's so nice like there are days where I would just like get my little like towel out um, and go on the lawn and just like do my homework and there would be deer, like, not even, like, five feet away from me. And there'd be turkeys. Um, you see, like, a lot of animals just anywhere on campus, which is really nice. And I really appreciated that. Um, currently, I'm living off campus. So, like, I can empathize with everybody who's mm-hmm. off campus. Um, but as of now, um, I'm currently an orientation leader for this year. So I was involved with facilitating and um you know, coming up, planning the events that we had for Welcome Week. Some of them was like coffee and conversation where we got into breakout rooms over Zoom and we just talked with one another, which was really nice. Um, And you didn't have to bring coffee. (laughs) You could bring tea if you wanted. Um, And then we also had like a virtual scavenger hunt, which was really fun. Mm -hmm. So we just had like a list of things that um, you could get and then you would bring it back and then just talk about them. 
Um, and that was really exciting. And we had like a good response from that. Um, what else? We also had like a self care Sunday where we um, yeah. had users. I'm there, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's, it's... yeah. We had users get, um, cause since we have our own Discord, and if any of you are interested in, oh. um, you know, getting on the Discord, I could just direct message me at UCSC Merrill College and I can send you an invite if you're interested. Mm -hmm. um, because we actually had like a game night where we were able to play Among Us and um, Scriblio and just like different games. Um, and we really enjoyed that. Um, we also had like a Minecraft, Minecraft um, on the Discord um, for Self Care Sunday, which was really nice. I, I don't play it, but like having yeah. for Minecraft, like all these like virtual yeah. <laughs> events, that's amazing. Like, um, in terms of virtual events, like I know you mentioned a lot of like what's already there. Are there any like exciting events coming up or like activities that um, fellow Merrill or non Merrill um, students can like join? Um, as of now, not really, but we're actually planning to have a meeting next week and we're going to plan out more events. Um, I like actually brought up this event where I'm thinking since it's like October and it's like Halloween time, maybe we could do like a pumpkin carving contest. Mm -hmm. um, but anyways, we, yeah, we're planning and we're meeting and we're developing events um, next week. Um, and I'm really excited because I think, especially since, um, you know, we're virtually connected now, um, we can't be in person. I think it'll be a good challenge for us to come up with like mm -hmm. new ways and new ideas on how to connect. Cause like we still need that social connection despite, you know, being exactly. Virtual. Exactly. I'm so glad you brought it up. Like, even though it's virtual, I think this is an opportunity to get creative and like think of like new ideas and sometimes like more interesting and fun ideas. Um, I did have a question I wanted to ask you. I think it was asked by, let me go up. Brian B123, um, where can we find more information about various virtual club meetings? Um, well, I'm posting right now on the UCSC um, Merrill website, and I've been posting from this account, UCSC, the mm -hmm. stories, the Instagram stories. Um, we have our Merrill student government meeting, which is actually, if any of you are interested, it's actually tomorrow at 8 p.m., and the Zoom ID and the password will be available um, I will be reposting it because we had our first open house actually last week, which was really fun. Um, and a lot of newcomers, um, new incoming students, um, came in, which was really nice. Um, mm -hmm. but you get to be involved in government and you get to learn about, um, all the events that are affecting Merrill, um, but also UCSC. So it's a really great space, um, to ask questions and to be directly involved. Yes, exactly. And I think someone asked a question of like, um, if someone wants to join student government, Diego, Diego actually asked this question, is it flexible how much participation is considered active representatives? I can kind of speak to that and then you can maybe add on. Um, um, for, I've been like part of C9 Senate for the last two years and now I'm the president of Student Union Assembly. And um, at least from my experience, I can say it's very flexible. Like depends on how much you want to be involved and how much interested you are in everything we do. Um, for Senate, it's way more flexible than SUA. Um, for like, you have to go to their meetings and let's say you want to get more involved then you can uh, venture out into like maybe being one of the president, vice president, like any office roles or you can just be like a representative to um, SUA, Student Academic Senate, SAS, SCOC. There's so many different options. So depending on how much time and interest you have, we have different um, options for you. And another thing is, let's say like you have a midterm or you want to like take a break a quarter, you can always do that go show up to meetings like all of these senate and SUA meetings are open so you don't have to be a representative to be there so let's say you have an issue you want to address you can be there and still not be like present every meeting and yet you will be heard so yeah um is there anything you wanted to add on to that there. yeah exactly you like perfectly <laughs> encapsulated it um for us you can be a member at large when you attend three consecutive meetings um and, you know, 
it's okay if you can't make every single meeting. We totally understand. We know we're all students. <laughs> we all have work yeah. to do, and some of us have other responsibilities. So we totally get that, and we understand that. Um, so you don't have to show up for every, you know, meeting in order to be, in order to be seen as a member. Um, you know, if you want to miss a meeting because you know you have to study for a midterm, that's totally okay. You can choose and come whenever you want. Yes. I think your video passed. Okay, you're back. <laughs> Perfect. Um, is there anything else you want to let it tell us about Merrill? Um, one thing I wanted to say is like, as you said, the Merrill apartments are so spacious. Like whenever I went there, it was like a wow, like so big. And I love the fact that like right behind, it's like the Redwood Forest and it's very like, um, like cozy and yeah. it's very <laughs> nice to be there. And like, you can look at the deers and the turkeys and just be at peace. So, and I also love um, Vivas. Vivas is on top of that, right? Yes, yes. We do have Vivas. I think we're the only college with a restaurant. I believe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's really nice to have that there. I remember there were times where like, I got kind of tired of like the dining hall food. So I just went to Vivas and I was able to use my flexies cause they, they are accepting of flexies. Um, and I was able to get some really good Mexican food. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, I'm glad you brought up the dining hall. I actually, like, maybe biased. But, like, even though, yes, the dining hall, I preferred the food in Merrill, Crown and Merrill dining hall. Like, I don't know why, but like, <laughs> I really love the food there. They had very more, like, variety and options. So if you're in Merrill, like, you'll have good food. Um, uh, regarding, like, Merrill, like, I asked Oaks the same question, but what is Merrill's theme? And I'm not sure if you mentioned it already, but um, can all majors be there or is it specific to one major? I know yeah. the answer is a lot of <laughs> now. Yeah, that's okay. So our theme is cultural identities and global consciousness. Um, all majors are welcome, um, just as with any other college. Um, but I chose Merrill because I really love that theme. Um, I also, as mentioned before, I love what it had to offer, Vivas, um, <laughs> and KZSC, and the Cantu Career Center, and um, it was just really beautiful, and I mean, Merrill's my favorite, obviously, um, but the other colleges, obviously, you'll hear how wonderful they are as well, and of course, all majors are welcome, it doesn't matter what college you choose. <laughs> yeah, and just to reiterate, like, um, there are different themes to different colleges and crown for example is mostly technology um focused theme but yet there's so many different majors like i'm a cs major but i'm in c9 not in crown so you can be any major and live in any of the colleges i think um you have to look at like what you like better in terms of like the locality the building the vibe the culture um and this is the best place to ask us like if you have any more questions like let us know i think two things um someone wanted to know what vivas is i think we mentioned it's a restaurant but if you can talk more about it and also um regarding Kantu queer center yeah so vivas is just the local organic mexican restaurant um as harbor life one two three was able to yeah. <laughs> really nice thank you um yeah i've had like bowls there which is really nice it's just like rice beans um you know, lettuce on top, guacamole, just the regular sure. Mexican food. Um, the Cantu Queer Center, um, it's a wonderful space for those who are LGBTQ and plus and would love to go there. We also have trans-inclusive housing at Merrill, which is really awesome as well. Um, I know um, there's, like, lots of opportunities um, and internships and jobs that um, you can, if you're interested, you can go to them um, and you can ask, you know, how to help and, um, you know, what what you can do. That's amazing. Um, I think someone had a question regarding, are you able to switch to different colleges? And from my experience, or like from, I think friends, some of them were able to switch, but I personally would recommend like going in with like knowing what you want and like just going for it. Because once you build your community, like, it's kind of sad to leave those friends and like that place and like go on to another place. But I'm pretty sure if you talk with ad admissions and housing, like they'll be able to like look at your situation and like help you with it. So we're here to help. Like if you have any problems, like reach out. Um, another question. 
like is there anything else you want to talk about I'm like, <laughs> um well more on that um I saw a question where it's like what type of people are at Merrill um honestly I met so many wonderful amazing people at Merrill um there was like especially welcome week when we first um you know moved in I was able to like go through like my whole building and just like walk by um and meet a bunch of people and they were really nice and warm and inviting um and honestly I I haven't met like <laughs> a bad person but also like I'm I'm biased because like it's just I love Meryl so much um yeah it was just really wonderful in my experience all of my favorite people are from Meryl <laughs> and I'm still friends with them, so, <laughs> okay that's so, yeah. I uh... I think everyone's wonderful, but you get to say that because I'm like from C9. <laughs> I have friends from C9 and C10 too. Yes, yes. The end United of the day, Hall we're all banana slugs. <laughs> your dining hall is actually really good because I know you guys have like the tater tots and the fries. And so, yes. yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, are there any other questions before we move on to Rachel Carson? Like, did you all have any questions for Meryl? I think more people are joining us, so maybe they're new. Um, right now, we're talking to Meryl. If you have any questions for Meryl um, regarding virtual events or like how it is, please ask us. We see an alumni from College 10. That's very nice. Okay, I think we are done with the questions. Thank you so much for having you. Having, thank you so much. For <laughs> Here, that's the word. <laughs> um, so um, I wanted to ask, like, does Meryl have any chants? I know Oaks had a chant. Is there anything like y'all do before you start an event or like end an event? Oh, I don't. I don't. <laughs> so, I don't think so. Because with Oaks, it's nice to just be like Oaks, but with Meryl, it's like Meryl. <laughs> okay that's amazing it was so nice talking to you and i hope you have a great like fall quarter thank you you too thank you so much for having me of course thank you bye 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 okay um i think we have some new people so i'm just gonna introduce myself again hi everybody if you don't know me i'm shivaka shivakumar i'm the ucsc student body president um my pronouns are she her hers we are talking to different colleges today and just building community, letting you all know that we are still here. All the virtual events are still here for you to like build community, talk to new people, um, understand how different colleges function and maybe choose your new home or just look at your continuing like continuing students. Like you're, we're just here to provide a sense of like bananas like community. So RCC is trying to join us. So let me let them in. I see a lot of Porter. <laughs> I haven't really been to Porter, but I know it looks beautiful. There's a lot of art majors in Porter, uh, and so it looks amazing. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay. How are you doing? How are you today? Oh, <laughs> I'm good. Um, it's been a stressful first week of school, but we're getting through it. How are you? No, I feel you. Um, it, it's only week one, but it feels like forever. But at the same time, I'm like really excited because this is a different year. So I'm really like looking forward to what it's going to be. Um, I wanted to first, like before we go into Rachel Carson, like just wanted to ask you to introduce yourself, your name, pronouns, and major. Yeah, so hi, my name is Lizette. Um, I am a third year environmental studies and politics major. Um, I'm a Rachel Carson affiliate. I'm also a student staff at Rachel Carson. So I have been a pro, this will be my second year as a programs assistant. Um, did I just freeze for a second? No, no, no you're completely fine. <laughs> okay, um, so this will be my second year on staff at Rachel Carson. Um, I am a programs assistant, um, so I actually work really closely with Diana, who was um, on for Oaks um, just a few moments ago. So I work with them. That's amazing. Um, yeah. 
Awesome. Um, so I wanted to ask, like, are there any events RCC is throwing like in this week or in this quarter that students should be really excited for? Um, how are you all dealing with this virtual world? And like, what creative means have you taken? Yeah, so um, we at RCC, we're really active on social media. Um, and we're really excited to announce our calendar of events. Um, so we're putting, we have, we're going to be putting our calendar up um, on our website in the next coming few days, but I can give y'all a bit of a sneak peek. Mm -hmm. um, so this isn't everything, but it's a bit of a sneak peek. Um, we're going to be doing some cool cooking stuff. Is it just me or can y'all hear Lisette? I don't think I can hear you anymore. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yes, I can. Okay. I'm so sorry. My head. No, you're um, so we're going to be doing cooking. Um, we're going to be doing like tours around Santa Cruz and campus. So like to the caves or to places in Poganip. Um, I'm going to be doing a weekly thing called sustainability hour where I talk about um, environmental issues um, through a critical and intersectional lens. Um, and I'm also going to be showing some uh, cool sustainability tips and, tips and tricks. Um, and we're also going to be doing some stuff, some Instagram lives, and a lot of other fun stuff. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, I'm glad you brought up sustainability because I know Rachel Carson's theme is very environmental focused. Like, and I almost gave it away, but can you tell us the theme of RCC and what the vibe is? Yeah, so our theme is Leaders for Social and Environmental Justice and Change. Um, we all, our core class um, is big on uh, environment and society. Mm -hmm. um, so our, our college is named after Rachel Carson, who is the mother of the environmental movement. If you all don't know, um, she wrote a book in the 60s called Silent Spring about the effects of pesticides on birds and how it was, how what human activity was doing was harming the environment. Um, so our college theme is based all around her and her legacy and her work. That's amazing. And I know um, RCC not only has like, um, like you all have like specific classes like focused towards sustainability and not just like clubs, but also classes, right? Yeah, so um, one of the really cool things our college offers is a minor in sustainability. Mm -hmm. um, you don't have to be a Rachel Carson affiliate to do the minor, but um, the classes are all housed at Rachel Carson. Um, so I'm not personally part of the minor, but I know a lot of people who are, and they really like it. And people in that minor get to work with um, our provost mm -hmm. and many other really cool um, professors and this thing called the S lab. Um, yeah. And actually one of the cool classes this quarter that the sustainability minor is offering is a class in building tiny houses. Wow. That's so fun. I would love to take yeah. it just for RCC affiliates or anyone. Anyone. Um, I believe RCC affiliates get priority enrollment, mm -hmm. but it's, you can be a sustainability major a sustainability minor and be at any college. Got it, got it. Um, we do have a question from Sophie Fox. Um, what kind of people are at RCC? I know it's broad, but is there a vibe? Um, so I, I know that I've been around at school for about three years, and I know a lot of people always want to categorize each college into a specific type of people, mm -hmm. and that's not always the case. Anyone can enjoy it at any college. Um, and we have all kinds of people at every college. Um, that being said, Rachel Carson has a lot of people who care about the environment. We have a lot of environmental studies and environmental science majors, but that's not the only major we have represented. Um, we also, we have a lot of people who like hiking, like outdoorsy stuff, uh, vegans, um, or jokingly known as the SoCal College. Um, cause we have a lot of people from Southern California, including me. Mm -hmm. Um, so it kind of, it, it made me feel a little bit more at home when I came six hours away. Um, one of my favorite things about Rachel Carson is that while you're walking down through the college, you always see someone's surfing wetsuit or surfboard hanging out their window. 
So it really, yeah, it just feels like Southern California, but in Santa Cruz. I, I think that was well said, like, um, categorize, categorizing these colleges. Um, I also agree, like, we shouldn't categorize them. There are all kinds of people in every college, and that's what makes it amazing because it's very diverse. And no matter, like, who you are or how you study or, like, what your interests are, you'll still find a home. You'll find similar people in whichever college you choose. Um, so thank you so much for um, le- telling us about that. I think another question we had was, um, you mentioned the provost when talking about the classes. Like, what role does the provost play in terms of RCC? So, um, our provost is kind of like the academic leader of our college. Um, she works a lot with the core, um, the core class that all Rachel Carson affiliated freshmen have to take. Mm-hmm. Um, our provost Sue is a professor in the physics department. Um, and she's actually a really cool lady. She's one of the only, if not the only female professors in that department. So she's had to deal with a lot of stuff Mm -hmm. being a woman in physics. Yes. But yeah, um, she's also active on our discord. Uh, we have a Rachel Carson discord that was started by an affiliate. So if you want to chat with Sue, she's on our discord and she really likes gaming. So if you want to talk gaming with her. She's down to do that. That's amazing. Look at that engagement, like, uh, like connecting with students one on one. I do want to say, like, whenever I've been to Rachel Carson, it's so beautiful. Like the buildings are like, it's like Venetian, like apartments. That's what I think my friends call it. But like, it's so beautiful. And RCC um, Dining Hall, I've never been there, but I've heard it's really nice. Yeah, I think our college kind of looks like condos. Um, our apartment, but our apartments are really awesome. I had the pleasure of living there last year. Um, Mm -hmm. They had a really nice layout. um, And it really felt like I was living in my own home. That's nice. And um, I'm going to ask, but I think you mentioned you're in SoCal right now. Um, So how Mm -hmm. building community, how are you still like staying in touch with your RCC friends? Um, are there anything like you are interested in your part of that others should maybe explore? Um, I'm not going to lie. I've, I like everyone have kind of struggled staying connected to people mm-hmm. without being on campus. But um, so I work in the program's office. So that's a great way to stay connected to students as I'm doing programming for them when I'm not doing school. And then I'm also an active member of Rachel Carson College Council. Our CCCC, um, our student government. Um, we meet Mondays at nine, um, and we're really, we're really, ex- we really want to welcome some new freshmen and new members. Um, we're moving this year to be more of a social organization. We want to prioritize having social connections between Retro Carson affiliates, in addition to doing the traditional student government stuff. Mm-hmm. Yes, um, shout out to another um, student council. Um, there are different names to student government. Um, some call it Senate, like C9. Um, I think Kresge calls it Parliament. Oaks call- yeah. Oaks and RCC, I think, call it um, council. So Oaks calls uh, Oaks is a Senate. Senate. And then RCC is council. And Stevens is council. council. So a lot of different names, but we all do the same thing. We're all like advocating for student voice. and, and- Yeah are being heard um another question Mm -hmm. um from sophie again was um can students take core classes from other colleges and i think i can answer i think the answer is no right yeah i don't believe so um and i know that core classes are only open to freshmen um yeah yeah so i don't believe transfers can take core classes but i i'm not entirely sure I think core classes are mostly, um, or actually only for um, the college affiliates and mostly first years. But if you're interested in like similar classes, there are a lot of variety of classes you can take, which will be similar to core classes. And you can always go talk to your advisor, um, your provost or like anyone else, and they'll be able to like let you know where you can go take classes. Um, Any other questions for RCC before we have C9? I'm just looking through the chat. 
Is there anything else you wanted to tell us? Like I asked. Um, um, and, oh yeah, go ahead. I'm going to shout out our Instagram real quick. Yep. Um, we are at RCC underscore UCSC. Um, I believe we are the most followed college on Instagram. My boss told me that today. Um, but yeah, definitely go give us a follow. Even if you're not an RCC affiliate, our programming is open to anyone and everyone. That's amazing. Um, I, I asked Oaks and Merrill the same question, but RCC, does RCC have a chant or like anything y'all do? Um, we do not. I've been trying to come up with one for a while, but haven't had any luck. If anyone wants to invent one, mm -hmm. let us know. We're sister colleges. We're we're sister colleges with Oaks, and it just kind of feels like a bummer that like when they start chanting Oaks at all their events, that we don't have anything cool to say. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, I think C9 also doesn't have any. I can ask C9 next. But um, one last question from Rose was, what should transfer students sh um, know about the colleges? Is there anything like as a transfer student like coming in they should? Um, I actually have a cool fact about Rachel Carson. <laughs> um. So in 2016, we were renamed from College 8 to Rachel Carson. And um, when UCSC was founded, College 8 was actually originally the transfer college. Um, oh. We are no longer that. But yeah, we started out as the transfer college. That's amazing. Um, I'm unfortunately not a transfer. Um, so I, I don't know what advice to give you. I know friends who are transfers. Um, my own best friend is a transfer, um, and I know that she really struggled with getting involved. So at least what I can tell you is try and get involved. Um, find a club you like, student government. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm not a transfer. There are a lot of ways to get involved. I recently went um, to a transfer community event. I think it was called Stars Welcome Back. I may be wrong, but um, Stars is a great place to start. Like, um, there's a lot of resources, so you should out there Instagram or like email um, housing.ucsc.edu slash transfer. I think that's the website. So if you look at the comments, um, UCC Admissions is actually like helping us out. Um, they said stars.ucsc.edu, so you can look at that as well. But thank you so much for being here, Lizette. Like, it was amazing. Yeah, thanks so much for having me. Of course. Um, and I hope everybody can like get in touch with RCC if they have any more questions. So I'm going to hop on to next. Bye, y'all. Oh, I do see a question about how do I become an RA. Um, I actually applied to be an RA my first year. I didn't get in. Um, <laughs> but I think it's like application process, um, at least for C9. Um, there's like applications open like end of the year and you just have to apply and like there's an interview process and then you get in um maybe like c9 can talk more about it um c9 is requesting to join awesome i see a lot of porter and crown and cow represent Hi. Hi, Anika. I didn't know you were going to be here. We actually know each other. Yeah. I'm so excited for College 9. I think I'm biased, but I'm from College 9, so it was like the way to end it. So, hello. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm a little tired from class, but I'm here. <laughs> In your, um, before we get into it, I know who you are, but can you like introduce yourself, your name, your pronoun, your major? Yeah, so I'm Annika, you, she, her pronouns. I'm a third year book planning to graduate summer 2021, so a year early, and I am a psychology and education major. Awesome. Um, so you're here to represent C9, um, so can you tell us a little bit about C9 before we go into questions? Yeah, I'm a College 10 affiliate, but I work in the college's 9 and 10 um, programs office, the co-curricular programs office. Um, I'm the FIA, so faculty initiative assistant, um, where we create mm -hmm. programs to build a community and educate our students. That's amazing. Um, and C9 and C10 are sister colleges. Like we have our like events together. So it's amazing to have like C9 and C10 uh, right here. Um, yeah. 
because everything is online this year and i've asked this question before as well like how is c9 adapting to to this new world what events are here for students to build community to let them know we're still here for them yeah we've got a lot of um great programs for this year even though we are all online um for example we have our national coming out day event which is october 11th so it's coming up um and we are going to create some pro for our Instagram and our social media. Um, we also have our Stand Strong Against Hate campaign slash annual flyer making, which this year's theme is on voting and elections. Um, and to go along with voting and elections, since it's such a critical year and a critical time, I hope you all watch the debate. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we are creating a program designed to talk about our elections this year and how to get involved. That's amazing. Um, is there anything else about like C9, C10? Um, are there like any creative new like ideas you guys, uh, y'all are using? Um, like maybe using like, I know Meryl is using Discord, like any like technology you're using? Oh yeah. So I even created programs last year um, based on my life after college series, but I used YouTube and I used um, different uh, flyer making skills um, on Canva, so I created brochures as well, so that there are many different ways to get information out there to folks. Um, we are going on Instagram Live sometimes on our account. Um, we do use our account, which is UCSC9 underscore 10, um, which I'm on right now. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, there are great ways to stay involved and stay connected, and we're trying to use multiple different platforms to do so. That's amazing to hear. I do have a question. Um, Christy Hornbuckle um, asked, does College 10 have a student council Instagram? Um, so basically like College 10 Senate? I'm not quite sure because I'm not on the Senate. Um, but if you DM us, I can personally send you one if there is. Um, yeah. yeah. Towards, um, C9 and C10 Senate's like work a lot together. Um, C9 does have a Instagram page. I think C10 has it, but um, I th I would recommend you get on the email list to be more um, in touch with the C10 representatives. So definitely like DM C9, C10, and Anika will get back to you. Um, another question I saw was, um, what is the theme for C10? And I can talk about C9. Yeah, so it's social justice and community. Um, we're really focused on building a community as well as um, focusing on social justice. We even have a house named Angela Davis, who is a very prominent member of, to show and embody social justice and what that means. But our core class is focused on social justice and we have many other classes and programs focused on social justice. Um, for example, the 191 classes, the 85 classes um, are always for anyone who is attending UCSE to join the College 10's classes, as well as College 9. College 9 has classes as well. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Um, I think a class they put up together, it's called something, right? Um, the class that C9 and C10 puts up together. Yeah, it's the yeah. one, 191 and the 85s. Um, do you know the name for it? Um, if you just, I, the, if you just search in the UCSC, like, it, thing, yeah, it should work, yeah, I'll show up. Yeah, yeah, I remember, like, students are actually teaching those classes, so it's very yeah. nice to, like, get involved, so not only can you take the class, you can also teach it the next time, so. Yeah, I taught the class, and I loved my Cove teacher, and we loved our class, and it, we did it online partially as well due to the strike. Oh, really? Yeah, and it was. How was that? Yeah, it was, it's definitely hard to build a community online, but it's still possible and we still gained engagement and I hope our students learned something. We definitely tried really hard. I, I bet they did. Yeah. Um, to, it's still to join the classes, by the way. Sorry not to cut you off, but it's still possible to join classes this year um, in winter quarter. Um, and if you are subscribed to our UCSC's um, 9 and 10's um, newsletter, slash the COCO newsletter, you'll be able to yeah. learn more about it. Do you want to tell us what COCO stands for? Because I know you all do amazing work and I have so many friends on there. Yeah, so the COCO stands for Co-Curricular Programs Office. Um, and we, yeah, we do a lot. Um, we host a lot of programs such as the Practical Activism Conference, 
which is still happening um, around February, I believe. And that's a great way to get involved, meet new people, learn. All you have to do is attend. And mm -hmm. if you gain a leadership position, gain a role, um, not only for yourself, but also for career development, personal development, etc. It's a great way to become a leader and actually get involved with the community. Yes, um, I personally have been to practical activism and it's amazing. Like you only, you not only get to make friends, but you also get to like learn a lot and feel empowered. So yeah. that's, um, I do want to say the theme for College 9 is international and global perspectives. I think I've already said it, but we also have a lot of murals and I was actually supposed to paint one of them. Like there was like application and everything, but because everything is online, I can't go there and paint, but um, C9 has also the ILC, which is the International Living Center. Um, and we have a lot of international students who are housed there. And it's a very um, amazing community. They have a lot of events. And if you look at C9, like there's like flags everywhere of like all the different countries in the world. And it's you feel like part of the greater community and like you can see how much of a larger impact we all can make and also um c10 has a lot of murals like it's mostly social justice focused i have friends who are in angela davis buildings and you feel really empowered just like walking through it because you see those murals like and it's amazing yeah yeah it's so colorful it's so beautiful and you're surrounded by trees and at night you can look up at the sky and see the moon it's making me miss <laughs> but, but soon we will return and yeah, it's a beautiful campus in general, and I love colleges 9 and 10 as well. Mm -hmm, exactly. Um, one question we had is, how did you pick C10, and why do you think, like, others should come to college 10? Um, at first, I picked it because I saw it was the newest college, and one of my main concerns was mold and asbestos issues. Um, so I was like, and this looks amazing. Then secondly, also the dining hall hours are great, and... It's just all brand new, so it looks really nice. Um, Can you tell hours, just so that those who are watching who don't know? I, I think it's 12 a.m., right? I haven't been to the dining hall in a long time, but... No, I'm sorry, I put you on the spot. I think it's 12 a.m., or actually 11 p.m. Yeah. yeah, I remember. So, okay, call 9 and 10 um, dining hall has the best cookies ever. Um, they actually get it from like downtown cookies. And um, I personally love mint. So um, chocolate chip mint cookies, like at like 11 p.m. right when it's ending, it's like amazing. Okay. So cookie runs, like best time. <laughs> anyway, so um, back to our focus. Um, so uh, question was, another question, I'm just like, I think I missed a question. There was a question regarding... Um, Will this be added to IGTV? Yes, it will be. Um, um, all the lives are going to be added to IGTV so that those who couldn't make it like can still see it. Um, any other questions for Anika? <laughs> it's it's different to have questions. Um, I think someone earlier had a question of how do I become an RA? I'm not sure if you're an RA. Do you, um, I kind of spoke to it, but do you know more about it? So I actually got the RA position for this year, um, but I wasn't able to do it. <laughs> but um, so basically you go through an interview process um, and you basically, one the biggest tip I can give is you, you do the STAR method, which is you say a situation, you say a task, you'd say your action that you did and you say the result. Um, that's just in life. That's a great tip for interviews. Yeah. Even for CS interviews, yeah. <laughs> great career development but um yeah to become an RA you have to interview and then of course wait to hear back but um it's a selective process but it's definitely a rewarding process I'm sure I w wanted to become an RA since my first year and I was so sad I couldn't do it this year but I still am a leader I'm still making pro programs and assisting other people with creating programs and I'm really lucky and fortunate that I've built such a strong community in the colleges exactly we have to adapt and we're all doing it together and that's yeah. what i'm yeah. glad uh, um i did ask i think rcc this just c9 and c10 and i don't remember anything like do we have any chance like that we use yeah. so college 10 is one oh you know <laughs> <It's> <laughs> <supposed> <laughs> i had no idea <laughs> And then college nine is C9, so fine. Um, Ooh, okay, okay. <laughs> during move-in day when there were 
yeah. I hear it. But um, yeah. I, I remember I was a college guide for C9 and C10 moving and it was so fun like everyone yeah. just like pulling those cars and like dancing <laughs> <laughs> like C9 and C10 is like literally in the center of the campus so like yeah. it's so easy to like reach places if you want to go to Quarry Plaza or like um, take bus to like SNE or like you can even walk to SNE um, it's so like easily accessible so uh, 10 minutes to anywhere really exactly yeah yeah um, and the dining hall is also really good. Like, even though I also love Merrill Dining Hall, um, I love C9. Um, yeah. And it's open the most times. Is and there anything else about C10 and C9? Um, I am biased, of course, but I would say you should join. Um, once we are back on campus, you'll really see the beauty of our campus. And the colleges 9 and 10 are really awesome. Um, we are creating programs this year, despite all of the craziness that is going on. Um, a lot of self-care programs as well. So if you are struggling with taking care of yourself and taking care of your community, we are creating programs for you. Um, yeah, and just subscribe to our newsletter. Follow our Instagram to get some updates. And yeah, it's a great way to stay involved. Yes, I totally um, agree. And I'm glad you brought up the self-care. I think it's very important, even in this online world, especially when we're looking at screens all the time and still all in our head. Um, it's important to practice self-care. And um, it's even better to have like our community and like to do it together, even if it's through Zoom. So um, yeah, you're back. <laughs> you were gone for a second. Is there anything last comments that you want to tell us before we end this live? I don't think I can hear you. Hello? Okay. I think we had technical difficulties, but we only have one minute left. Um, just looking at time, but thank you all so much for being here. I know I've been here for one hour, so whoever stayed back for the whole time, like I really appreciate, he, I appreciate you being here with me. Um, I hope you learned a lot about all the different colleges. Um, for new students, please join the Banana Slug community. Like we are really fun. A lot of like, um, we have amazing events. We have like the forest, the beach, the beautiful mountains, the deers. There's so much to UCSC. And most importantly, we have our Banana Slug community. Um, even though we're all in different houses and different homes and like far away, we're all still here together and we can do this together. So um, before I leave, I do wanna say, if you have any more questions regarding like admissions or um, any more like follow-up questions, feel free to like um, go to different like housing pages or like colleges pages, but also go to at UCSC admissions or at UCSC. And of course, I have to talk about SUA before I end because that's where um, students are making change. Um, student Union Assembly is the student government on campus. If you want to make a change, if you want to make a difference, um, if there are any issues you want to address, please join us. And um, we, you can follow us at, at UCSC SUA. And you can also reach me at at UCSC president. Um, so I hope you all had an amazing day and I hope to see you all very soon. So thank you and bye. I'm seeing like any last comments. Um, Annika said, sorry, you cut off us and get involved. So thank you. Yes, thank you so much everybody. Bye bye and have a nice day.